Hey there, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. My name is Raven, and today we are going to have a cozy, semi-productive, semi-crafty kind of day in the life. I woke up, gave the babies their breakfast, made coffee, and got ready to go to the park for our walk. It was a really pretty day. The clouds cleared during our walk, and we got to see the trees hitting their peak autumn colors in the sunlight, and it was just so pretty even if I wish the clouds had stayed <laughs> that the sun wasn't in my eyes. When we got home from our walk, I had some breakfast before Zach left for work. Currently, my breakfast kick is grape nuts and frozen blueberries. I've been on this kick for a while and I don't know when it's ending, but it's working because it's really easy on my stomach but also doesn't leave me super hungry later. After Zach left, I started to get some of the background tasks going, so I separated some laundry to start a load and I emptied and reloaded the dishwasher and Mayhem just came in to say hello. <laughs> I relaxed for a few minutes and did some knitting before I settled in to plan out my week. I have recently made a Notion template for myself in the planning section of my Notion area. What are you doing? And I have just been going through and filling it out every week. It starts with a review section uh, from the week before and to help me do some internal checks. I am not very good at thinking of how I feel unless it's an overwhelming feeling. So having just sort of like a weekly questionnaire of like, hey, how are you actually doing is actually very helpful for me. And then I have a few checklists for different priorities to make sure that I'm scheduling in things like working out and doing fun things throughout the week. I time block the day of being mindful to leave in white space so that I'm not overdoing it. It's been a system that's actually been working really well for me. I miss the feeling and sensation of doing paper planning, but digital just seems to work for me a heck of a lot better and is a lot easier for me to maintain and repeat. Today's cleaning assignment was the bathroom, so I set a 15 minute timer and just tried to clean for that long. This has been helping me to keep from getting randomly focused on a task and scrubbing all of the tile in the entire room or organizing the limbian closet without planning to do so. It just keeps me from getting carried away and it's really nice. I went into my office to finish the sewing project that had consumed my existence for the previous two days. Started this on Sunday and then didn't work on anything else. It was almost done and I was just really excited to get through it. So this is the skirt that I'm currently making. I pressed the hem last night all around and it's a circle skirt so it was quite the process. There's probably some parts that need to be repressed but I don't, I don't really care right now. I just want to get to finally sewing because I was working on just pressing this hem all night and hopefully that means it's going to be easy to sew and it'll look nice. Nicer than my other one at least. So time to put on a show and get this situated to be a sewing station. Perfect.
My pressing and sewing was far from perfect, but this went so much better than my first skirt that I had sewn in the sewing vlog. Uh, earlier this year, don't remember when. This is my second sewn garment and I feel like it improved a lot between the first and the second, which is really exciting. This is my first time doing French seams, which I actually enjoyed, except the pockets. Trying to French seam pockets is why the skirt took the amount of time that it did. I decided to focus on just getting the skirt itself constructed and making sure I learned the basics of French seaming before I added in pockets as a complication. I tried so hard to make it happen and I did it wrong six different times and was just spending so much time on it and still not understanding and just confusing myself further with every attempt. After I cleaned up most of my sewing mess, I wanted to do some chaotic goblin crafting. I started this cardboard tower I don't even know how long ago. I think it was still cold outside. Or maybe it was some, I don't know. I have no idea when I started this, but I really wanted to finish it after I remembered that it existed. Most of the construction and painting was finished, so really I just needed to do some finishing touches on the roof. I would redo this entire thing differently now that I've seen where I can improve things, and I am not really sure what to do with it in its current incarnation, but it was fun and I want to keep building things out of cardboard for them. I don't know, make like a village or something. I have no clue, but it's fun. And I have a lot of cardboard from all their Chewy orders. I hit a mental brick wall with the project around the same time that it was actually time for me to go outside and read during the sunset. This book is by the same author as the Belladonna series that I was raving about in my last vlog and we'll be talking about um, more of her books in some following vlogs. I was having to really pace myself to just not gobble up the book. This was her first published book I think and I really like her writing style but I I do like seeing where she grew as an author between the two series. I loved the first book of this duology. It was really fun. When it got too dark for me to keep reading outside, I came inside and started working on video editing in my office and watching more of the Gilded Age. The new way I have arranged my desk makes a lot more sense and is way more comfortable for me to edit. And it's also exactly where I had my desk before I decided to try and move it and stop using a desk. So I got there eventually. <laughs> Around 7.30, I shut down my office and went into the sunroom to work out. I was finishing Jennifer's body and had written up my own workout to try and combine some of the different Pilates moves that I've been finding and that feel good in my body. Nothing super complicated, could probably use some improvement, but it, it, it was fun and worked well with my limitation. I finished off the night with a nice cozy ambient shower and watching the chef show with Zach in bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I hope you're having a wonderful day or that tomorrow is better and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!